Hey, today I want to show you how to make a cover video for YouTube and take you behind the scenes of how we've made nearly 200 instructional videos for the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel. I'll see you inside the video. Hey, it's James here from eBay's Guitar, and one of the things I love to get students to do, and it's an integral part of our programs over at eBay'sGuitar.com, is make bass guitar cover videos. They're super, super powerful for two reasons. The first is, it's a ton of fun recording and making a video of you playing your favorite bass lines and songs. That's why there are so many cover videos on YouTube. The second and more subtle reason is, educationally, they are phenomenal phenomenal tools. The reason being is they push your standard or push your playing up to performance standard so you hit new levels that you didn't think were possible. So today I want to take you behind the scenes and show you the processes we've used here at eBay's Guitar to make nearly 200 videos for our YouTube channel and nearly three to four hundred video lessons for our membership, the Bass Lab Plus, at ebassguitar.com. So I want to make something super, super clear at this stage of the game, is there are a ton of different ways you can make a cover video. From really simple, just putting your smartphone on and recording, through to clever multi-camera setups in studios with editing suites, the choice is yours. So what I'm going to be showing you today is relatively involved and the processes we use here, but they are much, much simpler processes and today I've literally got through the post this brand new gadget called the Roland Go Mixer which plugs directly into the smartphone so I'm going to be experimenting with that. I'd love you to know from you guys would you like me to make a video on how this works because I think this will be a game changer for making bass guitar cover videos. Do let me know in the comments below. So first of all, let me show you the equipment that's in the room. The first thing to appreciate is that I use live speakers rather than headphones. I seem to be a little bit more comfortable producing lessons using that setup. So the first step of the chain, so to speak, is the bass rig, which is here. This is my Aguila Tone Hammer 500, and this is plugged into the Mark Bass Traveler 210 here. Below that is the slightly bigger 210. That's not plugged in whatsoever. So I'm just using those two there on a really, really low volume. And out the back of there, using the balanced out or the DI out, we send that out to the recorder down there, which I will talk about in just a second. Now, next up, when you're making a cover video, the chances are you're going to be working to a backing track. And when we're making lessons here at eBay's Guitar, I'm generally using backing tracks, drum machines, or metronomes. And to play those, I use use a simple iPad like this. It sits on a music stand which is just over here. The output of that is taken in to this Behringer Euro Live speaker here. This is just so I can monitor what's going on in the room and hear the tracks. I generally balance out the levels between these two speakers in the room so I'm really, really comfortable. Now the next thing is I need to talk about how to record the audio because I use a separate audio recorder to the video cameras. Then it gets synced together later when we're editing. So down here we have a Tascam four channel audio recorder. We use three of those channels. So channel number one is this Lavalier microphone here, which you're hearing me talk through. So the sound of my voice is always clear because it can start getting a little bit lost if you're using the camera which is in the room. And so this makes the teaching part of the lessons really clear. The second, and this is more relevant to if you're making a cover video, is you need to record the bass guitar, which is DI directly out of the amplifier, as we touched on here. And then I also record at this stage of the game, anything which is coming out of the Euro Live speaker, out of the DI output out the back of there. This is a really simple setup that I just leave plugged in all of the time, and means it's really good and easy to start editing the audio when it gets to the computer. So let's talk about the camera, lighting, and action 
actually what I'm looking at when I'm making a video here. So the first thing is the camera that we use here. This is a Canon G7X Mark III. Now I love these Canons. Incidentally, I'm actually recording on my older Canon G7X Mark II. They're phenomenally good cameras. I've used lots of expensive DSLRs before, but I find these really, really good. Principally for two reasons I love this camera, because it's got a full flip here, so I can see exactly what I'm recording when I'm making a video. The other reason I love this Mark III is because it has a power adapter, so I can leave it plugged into the mains and not worry about batteries. Anybody who knows me knows I absolutely hate batteries running out. And also, we can plug an external microphone into this model here, so I'm a big fan of the Canon G7X Mark III. We have two lights that you can see up here, just to make sure the room is really nicely lit. So these are simply, I believe they're called Fovitec lights, which you can get from Amazon for about 200 pounds, something like that. If you're making a cover video, you don't really need fancy lighting like this, but for what we do here at eBay's Guitar, it really helps. Now the last thing I'll just show you is the music stand here with the iPad on there. And you can also see the chart I'm working to here for the cover video that I'm making as part of this lesson. I want to know by the demitones. The trick with this is you can actually have the music stand pretty high, but it's just pointing it just below the stand there so you can have notes in front of you. So these are the critical pieces of equipment that we use to make a cover video. So let's show you these concepts in action and actually record a cover video. So we've finished recording our cover video, it's now time to get editing. So I've got two SD cards here to take to the computer. One has got the camera footage and one's got the audio recordings. So let's get editing. Hey guys, so what I want to do now is just give you an overview of what happens once we load up the camera footage and the audio into the computer. So I'm using Final Cut Pro as my editing software. There are loads and loads of options out there for you to edit in, so use which Whatever one you prefer. But I want to just show you a couple of principles to making a cover video which will make things a lot simpler. So up here we have the footage that we've loaded up and now what we have to do is just line it up and do some basic editing to it just to trim the front of the video and the end of the video so to get rid of um, any sort of fluff on the beginnings and ends. So that's all I've done here. I've added the eBay's Guitar legendary eyebrow logo as well. But the thing that I want to just draw your attention to is most editing software these days has facilities to synchronize audio, which makes life so much simpler. So if I double click here, you can see all of the audio tracks in there. So we have the camera audio here. So this is really important that what the camera has actually recorded, because that's what the software generally lines up with um, when it's syncing together automatically. Then I've just told it um, to sync all of the audio clips to it. So here are the three tracks that we recorded here earlier. So um, this one is uh, the uh, lav mic there, which I've turned off because we don't need it. It's helpful to record that because it helps the computer along. Here's the bass guitar track here, um, like so. And then I've decided to add in the original audio track MP3, which Kev sent me here because that's mixed nicely in stereo and will sound a lot, lot better because I've only recorded in mono out the back of the speaker. So I've added this in here. But the brilliant thing is the computer has synced these all together. I've then used the leveling here to add a little bit of level to the bass guitar. 
um, and uh, the backing track here to level them out like so. I've also added for the audio geeks on there, I've added some compression to this as well just to get everything to pop and make sure the levels are nice and loud. So when you go back to the original and you play it, what you're looking for is you're looking for these level meters here to be just about hitting the... Like, why you just in that orange and very occasionally maybe hitting the red in there too. But all you can do to make your simplest YouTube cover video is just literally let the camera roll sync up the audio like so. For this video I put a little introduction on the front and the end to tell people what I'm doing as well but it's literally, literally that straightforward to do. And this is how I edited out so many of the early YouTube videos before we got editors here uh, for eBay's guitar. Now once you're happy and you're confident that all is done and your ends are nicely trimmed and there's no sort of awkward silences or anything where the camera sort of rolled on a little bit. What we, what I suggest we do is we bounce this off. Now I want to share something which I think is really important for our cover videos and that is to upload into Vimeo and this is the e -Bass Guitar Vimeo account. So I'll explain in a second why we're going to do that but I just Everything we release, we tend to do in 720. Uh, you can do it in 1080p, but for, for web work, 720 seems absolutely fine. That's the resolution there. So I'm gonna title this, um, I want to know cover video, like so. Then I'm gonna go next, and I'm just gonna bounce this onto the desktop for now. So as I said a second ago, I really recommend setting up your own personal Vimeo account. It's quick, it's easy, and it's completely free. And what this will do is it will give you a lot of control over your videos. You won't get so many copyright issues that you get with YouTube. And also you can control who watches the video and which websites it's embedded in. So it's a really great system. We have hundreds upon hundreds of videos on there for eBay's guitar, so I highly recommend. So all you need to do to upload to Vimeo is literally go new video, go to your desktop like so, go I want to know, upload like that, and then it's uploading and it will take a few seconds to, or a couple of minutes to get into the Vimeo. So once your video is uploaded, all you need to do is click into it like this, and there are a whole bunch of settings that you can choose to control who can see it. So the first thing I reckon to do is go to privacy like this. I'm very happy for anybody to watch this video. I don't want anybody to download it, um, but I'm happy for it to be embedded anywhere. I don't actually even mind it um, being on vimeo.com as well uh, because I'm happy for to, sh to share this to the world. But I suggest you have a look through the settings to see which ones you're comfortable with. Then once you're done with that, all you need to do is select this URL up there and this is your Vimeo URL which you can share on Facebook or um, send people directly to the video like this. Uh, when it pops up or you can put it wherever you want on your own website or you so as I said earlier, making a cover video can be as simple or as complex as you like. I'm just showing you the basic processes here and this is just scratching the surface. So please dig in, have some fun and see where it takes you. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope it's been super, super useful and I would love to see your bass guitar cover videos. Please do upload them and share them in the eBay's Guitar Facebook groups so we can all watch them and you'll get helpful tips and feedback on how you can improve and you'll also discover what you've done really well too. Please don't forget to like and share this video and if this is your first time at the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel. There's a red button somewhere around this video because we release a new video like this every single week. So cheers, I've been James from ebaysguitar.com and I'll catch you next week.